part two of our study guide. We're here in uh, culture. Uh, let's see. We had up to culture defined, um, shared beliefs, customs, values, and knowledge. Uh, that's a, a typical definition of culture. Uh, but we also remember that uh, it's not just the knowledge; it's also the action and the product. So, uh, three parts of culture: cognition, thinking, uh, uh, action, acting, doing things, and then the product, the uh, the, the the material culture that's produced. Um, or the uh, social uh, uh, structures that are produced. Um, these are all uh, parts of culture. Um, it's something that you uh, you can hold. It's something you do, and it's also something you think. It's what's determining your your actions, if you believe in that. Uh, four characteristics of culture: it is learned, it is symbolic, it is holistic, and it is shared. Uh, culture as a community. Uh, what's a community? Uh, usually a community is a, a smaller group, a society is a larger group. Um, learning culture, uh, we enculturate when we learn it. Uh, we, we get our culture from, uh, from our early childhood. Race and ethnicity um, are, uh, are complicated. Uh, we'll come back to this. Biological race pseudoscience. Race is not biological. Race is a, a cultural construct built on perceived uh, uh, features. Um, and how it works in a in a system in that in that in that society, uh, so it's a pseudoscience to say that there are biological races. There aren't, um, or, or at least the, the 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 races as they are conceived: black people, white people, Asians, etc. Et these are not uh, biological constructs. These are um, these are these are cultural, and they vary from one culture to the next. Uh, let's see: reduction and determination. These are the two things that we do in science. We reduce. Uh, we, we start out with more uh, complicated um, causal relationships and we try to find simpler ones. Uh, and that's known as reduction. Uh, determination is that, you know, that this series of, uh, of events leads to that one. Um, and uh, this is very dangerous to do when we're talking about human society because it leads us toward eugenics. If, we're, uh, if, we, if, we're, um, uh, if, we, if we look at historically where uh, the, the pseudoscience of biological race uh, went to uh, in the 19th century. It went and early 20th century. It went to eugenics. It went to the um, attempt to um, 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 limit uh, human reproduction uh, in order to solve problems. Uh, it, it led to a lot of, of very very terrible tragedies of uh, just ordinary people who happened to be um, poor or happened to be poorly educated, uh, and these women were sterilized as a result. Uh, because it was uh, assumed that it was a, a problem with their genes. So you have to be very careful about talking about genetics, um, um, because there's been so many mistakes that have been made in the past. Race versus ethnicity, usually when we talk about race, as anthropologists, we're talking about um, the uh, perceived uh, physical differences uh, between uh, people. Uh, when we talk about ethnicity, we're talking more about language, um, culture, history, uh, geographic origin, that sort of thing. Uh, visibility. Um, <clears throat> oh, goodness. Let me, uh, sorry, get my notes up here. I'm a little bit muckle. What did it have to do with visibility? There we go. <laughs> I can't remember whether we're talking about race or, uh, oh my, visibility, their race, ethnicity, uh, I think visibility is there for the purpose of um, racial difference is much more visible than ethnic difference, but don't necessarily pay too much attention to visibility there. Definitely ethnicity is far more flexible uh, than race. Uh, it is uh, both are, are contextual but but um, uh, 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 ethnicity is a little more contextual. It's contextually defined. Uh, if ethnicity is related to the nation state, uh, uh, especially these European style nation states, uh, these ethno states, um, you know, German people speaking German and being German citizens, citizens of Germany, right? Uh, this is uh, different from America. American citizens don't speak any language uh, by law. 
or by expectation. There's no American culture or American ethnicity. Um, multiple ethnicities make up America or make up, uh, you know, Argentina or wherever. Uh, ethnicity, ethnic conflict, uh, culture versus ethnicity versus race. Let's get back into this and see what we were talking about. Ethnic conflict comes about when race, okay, when ethnicity has been activated by the society. So um, usually the government uh, or the state um, oversees this 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 uh, uh, activation. Remember the remember the the thumbs, right? Of the right thumb over the left, or the left over the right. Did we do this in here? Uh, if you if you clasp your thumbs and you put the right over the left, um, that's good for you. If you put the left over the right, that's bad for you, right? Or or vice versa. Whichever way it works out. The point is that these differences are pre-existing. It's only when the state activates them and says, okay, people with this characteristic are over here in terms of benefits and people with this characteristic, uh, with that characteristic are over there in terms of benefits. When the state activates it and says, okay, you're a slave, you're not a slave, now all of a sudden race uh, or ethnicity, you know, if it says uh, you um, um, uh, speak English in the home and you speak Spanish in the home and therefore, you know, you're okay and you're not okay. Once the state starts doing that, uh, then it uh, um, um, creates sort of it creates that ethnicity it it it, it, it was already there um, but it becomes activated in a way that it really matters oh goodness I didn't mean to go into that much detail uh, let's see <clears throat> uh, culture versus ethnicity versus race we had a big thing here Culture is much broader than ethnicity or race. Uh, remember that little part in there. It is broader. Uh, ethnocentrism is uh, this idea. Let me get the definition here because I don't need to. Ethno, the, the belief that one's own customs are normal while other customs are strange, wrong, or even disgusting. Cultural relativism, the belief that all cultures are equally valid and that culture can only be understood and interpreted in its own context. I like to give the book definitions for these things so that I don't confuse you. Um, biological adaptation versus cultural adaptation. Of course, we know about biological adaptation. Cultural adaptation can take place as well. Some cultures can be maladaptive. Maladaptive means uh, not leading to a, a, a positive conclusion. There are many things that can be wrong uh, with someone's culture. Uh, we just, uh, it's, it, we're not judging it from the outside, you know, judging it from another culture and saying that's wrong. We're just saying, look, you know, when that happens, this is what this is what results: genocide or violence or abuse or whatever. Um, just because it's a cultural value doesn't mean uh, that it it isn't it, it it can't be perceived as uh, negative and fought against. Uh, cultural logic. Every culture has their own logic. Let's see. <clears throat> the internal cultural logic is something that we do, the functions of culture. Uh, oh, raising children. This was important. Uh, independence versus dependence training. Remember, uh, child rearing practice that supports the family over the individual. That's dependence training. Individual identity is deeply and strongly tied to the family group's well being. Uh, and the opposite of that is independence training. And that's child rearing practice that supports the individual self reliance of the child, even over the family's well being. Uh, and so uh, typically in societies uh, and, and social classes, we'll, we'll say, you know, uh, groups that are vulnerable, um, people who um, don't rely on themselves to get things done, but rely on one another. Uh, and usually this is very um, uh, wealthy people and very poor people um, are, are dependent. Uh, the, the family members are interdependent upon one another, um, whereas the middle classes, working classes tend to be more independent. Uh, and so you'll have more independence training uh, in those societies uh, that value um, uh, individual self-reliance. And you'll have more dependency training and trying to remind kids all the time that they need other people and they need, their, need, need the help of their family members. I'm going to stop it there and pick it up with uh, field, field, word, world, uh, field work methods and